Ciao guys and welcome to this new episode of 5 interesting models you didn't consider to build. This time, since most of you expressed quite an interest in the last survey I published here on the YouTube community, I thought it could be nice to take a look at Ocre Models, the young Spanish company which already offers a wide range of products. You probably already know how this video series works. I searched the number of results of the company's models on one of the most famous forums on the web to see which are the most uncommon models. To give you a benchmark, the HMS Victory model has more than 5000 results. Then I analyze each of them to assess its overall difficulty. So let's start with the first one on the list. The Essex. The George Pollard dwelling ship Essex was attacked by a large sperm whale, which rammed the ship on various occasions, finally sinking her, some 2000 nautical miles from the South American coast. I love the fact that Ocre gives you the opportunity to build this model with or without sails, and adjust the price accordingly. They do this for other models too, and I really like that. This famous whale ship has three masts, Hull curvature won't be easy if you are building your first or second model ship. You also have a step-by-step -step playlist on the Essex on YouTube, even though I have some doubts on some of the videos. Still, I appreciate all effort on making those contents for the community. The Aurora. The Aurora is a brig of the 19th century used as a transportation vessel between Spain and its overseas colonies. This kind of vessel was built for the ocean sailing thanks to its rigging, useful in condition of constant wind. I am not totally sure a vessel called Aurora in that period actually existed, or if it is a general Spanish brig. I'd love to hear more on that, if you have any additional information about it, you can leave a comment below. The model measures 68 cm, so it's not that big. It has two masts and a series of details you can work on. The hull shape, like the Essex, can be challenging if you're building your very first models. This big guy is 1.25 meters long and it is a 74-gun third-rate Spanish ship of the line, built in 1794. The Montañas participated to the Trafalgar Battle of 1805. With more than 2,000 copper plates on her hull, she was much faster than other ships of the same era. Copper plates for the hull don't seem to be included in the kit though. There is a great building log on this model ship in the model ship work forum if you want to check out this model in details before buying it. It is clearly not a model for beginner, and I highly suggest considering this model if you're into the 74 gun ship that made history. The Candelaria. The Candelaria was a bomb vessel, which in this picture might have had a diesel engine, considering the position of the flag. From the pictures it looks like the stern is made of wood, but by reading some forum threads people say that it is made out of metal, and most of them made it from scratch, so I totally recommend you do the same. It might happen that Tokre updated this kit. The Kaleya. I love this boat mainly because of the huge scale which allows you to experiment various details. The Kaleya is a traditional boat of the Mediterranean Sea, which was used for fishing mackerels and sardines, or any other fish that felt attracted by the light of the large gas-powered lanterns. With this model you can also think of installing a light system for powering the three lanterns, if you're into that. The Kaleya is a nice model to start with, if you're a beginner and if you like fishing boats. So to sum everything up, if you're looking for a challenge and you already have some experience in model ship building, then you should consider the Montañas. The Candelaria is a good model if you want to start practicing with carvings and engravings. The Essex and Aurora by Ocre are pretty cool models, with a moderate difficulty level and the price is interesting too. In both models, by the way, pay attention to scale proportions. The Kaleya, as we have seen, is a good model to start with, especially if you don't have any experience in model ship building. 
not so many details, no sales, and it won't take long until you see the very first results of your work. I really believe that when you begin in model ship making, seeing the results is very important. And taking into consideration these small boats is a very clever choice. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment to let me know your thoughts. I really enjoy reading them. I also made two other videos like this one on Amati and Artesania Latina. Just click on the miniature you find here and here. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.